Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, and uh, we have back our good friend Sam Messman, who you've seen here a few times before. Welcome, Sam. Thanks, Mark. It's always a pleasure to be here. So Sam is the CEO of LumaForge, which has solutions for doing collaborative editing for Final Cut Pro 10. And Sam's going to show us uh, some really great things you can do in Final Cut Pro 10.3 relative to audio and role-based audio mixing. So I don't want to steal his thunder. I'll just let you take it away and show us what you got. So the the roll features are brand new in Final Cut, but one of the questions, or I guess one of the things people ask is, how come I can't mix with rolls? And depending on how you approach compound clips, you totally can, actually. Yes. And so it's kind of a different approach to sound editing than you might have, but it really isn't that radically different than what people have been doing, which is to affecting most of their individual clip-based um, sound effects directly in the timeline, yes. and then moving their way up with buses on top of them until you get to a final mix down. And you can do all of that with the new roll features in Final Cut. So basically, um, here's an approach that you might want to use. Great. And Let's see it. So we have a lot of clips here uh, with sub rolls. Um, we have the effects components exposed here. And you've, you've got all your lanes also showing. And okay. one thing that you might want to do, for instance, is take a couple of clips and create a particular type of effect, such as reverb, reverb et cetera, on mm -hmm. those clips. Um, and there's actually a way that you're going to do it. So I'm going to set this up here, and then we're going to see it in the next example how you okay. might do something like this. Because in Logic, you'll typically do uh, something along these lines, and um, it's not, it hasn't been as easy to do this in Final Cut. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a new subroll, and we're going to call this Echo. And um, now I'm going to apply and I'm going to now assign that echo sub roll to these clips. And uh, so there is the new echo roll that we put on. And notice that it's moved it here. It moves, moves to its own, because lanes are showing, it's moved it to its new lane. And so wouldn't it be great if I can apply an effect to all of these clips easy? Yeah, it would instead of individually or so typically in a traditional uh, sound designer environment, you're going to lock picture, and then you're going to deliver a mix to a sound designer who's going to put everything on its own track, and they will take certain clips, and they will put effects across tracks and build a mix that way. Yes. And we're going to do that exactly right in Final Cut. Okay. So now I'm going to control click this, and we're going to make a new compound clip. And so you did Command A to select everything. Yeah, so Command A. Absolutely everything in a compound clip. And now okay. I'm going to call this uh, Mac Break. Uh, submix and I'm going to click OK it's going to put all of these into a compound clip now you'll notice by default it puts all of these into roles into role components basically right we have a we have each role all to get all bundled together now a feature that not that's not necessarily easily discoverable but is extremely powerful is I can actually break these out into sub roles you're revealing them in the inspector, yes. And now, so when I went into the inspector, I mm -hmm. changed this to sub roles. I can change it back to roles easily. But in this scenario, I want to start with my sub roles first and gradually work my way up the mix. And then these are technically sub role components because each one contains all of the sub role clips that are assigned to that sub role in one single lane. Exactly. So now mm -hmm. anything that was a part, if you shot multiple characters and you'd, you'd used IXML to have the microphone's right. name that way, they'll automatically come into, so into So all of Steve's way. mic is together and all of Jill's mic is together in this, in this example. Exactly. Yeah. So I, and now I can put a compressor on those or I can EQ those particular character mics Separately. the way that I want them yes. and then build a mix that way. Yes. And so for in this instance, one use of this might be I want to put certain things and put an echo effect and there's standard effects that I might want to put into a certain lane to affect a certain way. I can group those and I, as I just did accordingly and now I have an echo effect. All I would need to do now is go into the echo tab and put this echo delay on and this is similar to how people work in Logic. Right, so now it applies it to all the clips that you assign that role at once. Exactly. Beautiful. Very yeah. simple. And because oftentimes when you do reverb and some of those effects, it gets lost at the tail end because the clip isn't long enough for that effect to continue. Uh, okay. This here, now reverb and echo is easy to apply. As long as your last clip isn't at the very tail of this. Exactly. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. So where do we go from here? Okay. So now uh, an issue with this is if I was to flip these over to rolls, it would apply all of those effects onto the overall rolls. 
because it would merge them down. If you collapse this down again, so once you've expanded and applied effects on individual subroll components, you really need to stay in this configuration. But what if I want to do something where I apply this to all of the dialogue rolls or all of the effects or all the music? Well, it, you can't. It would be one or the other, except you can. And the, the approach to this is in, use two compound clips. And so we have a subroll based one that we start with, and yes. this is where you do sort of an overall mix on, on tracks. I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to say it. You, you make tracks out of these. Uh -huh. And then you make another compound clip. And this is kind of similar to how Logic and you just works anyway. You just selected the overall top clip to do that. So my original compound clip, and yeah. now I'm just going to put uh, Mac Break Final Mix. And now I'm down to here, and I have rolls just as my regular components. Oh, so now instead of sub rolls, you have your roll components. So now I've worked out all of my individual tracks, yes. and now I basically have my dialogue music and effects stems that I can put final compressors on, et cetera, and really listen to my overall mix and affect those as I would normally. By the way, once you do this, you can take this compound clip and run this directly through X to Pro and get out to a sound designer as well. So it'll break things out. And it'll out break everything out. Accordingly. This is tremendous the idea that you could then you could do your submix so you could take an individual person's mic and and eq it wherever you needed to do apply effects but then also go up to all the dialogue and affect all the dialogue or all the music or all the effects or your example of this echo and if i have a fundamental issue i'm just going to double click here i can get back to my submix or immediately get back to my individual clips and change picture all of these other things so the question is what sort of workflows does this now open up and how often do I even really need to conform anymore and get out elsewhere? Wow. Wow. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> Sam, it's, it's mind blowing. I mean, that extra step of being able to do the submix and the mix all within Final Cut and be able to dive back in because you can still adjust anything yeah. at this point. Fantastic. Picture changes are now <clears throat> really easy and it doesn't change <clears throat> anything else down the chain, really. Okay, so if this didn't blow your mind, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> it's really great. So if you want to understand more about all of these features, we have Ripple Training, Final Cut Pro 10 in depth. You want to check that out. And uh, we'll keep going here. Sam, thank you for coming on the show and showing us this really, really great tip. Always my Appreciate pleasure, it. Mark. Thanks for having me. All right. Thanks for watching Mac Break Studio.